Look at this weird substance. It's solid, right? Or is it liquid? Reaction to the force scales linearly. To find out why it behaves like that, we're going to have to take a look at a lot of papers. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the weird and wonderful world of non-Newtonian fluids. Our story begins in England with a man named Isaac Newton. Well, he did a lot of things, but most importantly, he published a lot of papers, and I mean a lot of papers. In one of these papers, he describes the density and compression of fluids, where he goes on to propose that if the medium in which any body moves be urged more powerfully by the same force, the difference of the forces is that very motive force. Or, in layman's terms, if you push water or any other fluid twice as hard, it moves twice the speed. Well, that's really how physics works. Reaction to the force scales linearly. There are exceptions. What about honey? Think about it. Parts of it can move faster than others. The viscosity can change depending on how much you stir it. It gets softer the more you move it around. They don't obey by the laws of Newton, so we call them non-Newtonian fluids. Wait, let's take a look at that again. Pause. Look at how all the particles are kind of declumped in a line. Whereas compare that to the start, where they were all just kind of clumped together. See, when we applied the external force and moved the particles around, we reduced the overall viscousness. We softened it. That's known as shear thinning. That's why when you stir honey, it becomes softer. And this is different from Newtonian liquids like water. They free flow and there is no viscousness to be found. And finally, take a look at this. See? Let's take a look at that again. Let's zoom in. And pause. See how all the particles are now clumped together. And then when they free fall, it's declumped. That's the exact opposite of shear thinning, shear thickening. And an example of a fluid with that kind of property, oobleck. It's neither solid nor liquid. 